Hey, God bless you, my friend and sister Sharon. And today we are discussing, you do not need money to pay for a prophecy. Friends, there are many charismatic believers, or shall I say, confessing believers that are being duped. You are paying men and women to prophesy lies to you. When we go to many websites, they have clearly to receive a prophecy from these individuals, you pay a certain amount of money. They not only will prophesy, but they will interpret your dreams for you. Friends, this is not of God. Wake up, friends. You do not need money to receive a prophecy. If the gifts of word of knowledge, word of wisdom, prophetic utterance, as we call them, is moving through a vessel. If God has something he wants to say to you, you do not have to, number one, even ask. You don't have to email. You don't have to text. You don't have to make any type of nudging of a real prophetic person because they are. we will obey God. If God is speaking to us, if we feel inspired, we will obey him because why? The gifts of the spirit and those that are clearly laid out in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, that gives us nine manifestations of the spirit, word of knowledge, word of wisdom comes to edify and to exhort you and bring comfort. So why would a true prophetic person, a prophet or a prophetess, why would they withhold utterance because you don't have no money. So, so th this also begs the question, why would you pay anybody to give you comfort, exhortation, and edification? Because that is the purpose of prophecy. So if anyone puts a price tag on prophesying to you, praying for you, a lot of them put it under the disguise of prayer, that if you want to pray or if you want time with the prophet or the prophetess, they usually also put this under this header of mentorship. And they charge you an upfront fee to mentor you, to quote, prophesy. All of this is under the banner friends, of corruption. These are corrupt people. Anytime someone is asking you, follow me close, friends. In order for me to dispense soaps for hope, I have to have money to make these things. Solomon tells us in the book of Ecclesiastes that money answers all things. In order to put gas in your car, there has to be an exchange of money, currency. In order to get your food from the grocer, you have to exchange money. In order to purchase your clothing, your your day-to-day um, -day living, you, to pay your rent, there has to be an exchange of money to maintain these things things. In order for me to release to you all the formulas and all the soaps that we're making and all the soaps that we're giving as random acts of kindness through the charity that I am now managing for the glory of God, there has to be an exchange of currency to, to one, pay for the supplies to make the quote thing and to maintain a, a, a group or staff and a facility. All this takes money. Follow me. But it doesn't cost one penny to prophesy. It doesn't cost one penny to lay hands on the sick, to believe God, to touch, to heal, and to deliver a soul. This is not about a thing. Because spiritual matters, anything that we give you, we offer it freely. Freely I receive, freely I give. Freely, everything pertaining to the kingdom of God and the knowledge, everything that God has taught me, I teach freely. I give it away. I shout from the rooftops, freely. But let us be clear. 
any person charging you to, to, to bring to you any spiritual renewal, redemption, restoration in your life, information, revelation of Jesus Christ, anyone charging you for that, you should run. But you must understand, friends, as servants, it costs money to do things for ministry. But it's not, it doesn't take money for a messenger to open up their mouth and prophesy to you. And let me tell you something, friends, that you should refrain from doing. And that is emailing me or anyone asking for a prophecy. Because we are not psychics. You don't, you don't, you don't slide us a few dollars to get a word. Friends, if you are seeking comfort, you have to let the spirit in that individual, and you will be surprised, my friends. All throughout my journey, God has always bought me a word through others, people I you least expect. They will utter and your spirit bear witness and you say, God has spoken. I will never forget a very, just, a, ooh, it was a dark season in my life. And this woman came into my hair salon and sat down. She was a brand new customer. And I didn't know that she was a follower of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and that she was wielding this gift of prophetic utterance. And she started, woo, within moments when she sat in my chair. She didn't know me. We didn't discuss Jesus yet. We hadn't did no conversation. But she knew by the Spirit. And she began to speak and utter Thoughts that only God the Father could have given that woman to speak to me didn't cost me a penny. It was unprovoked and it was, it, it literally changed the course of my life. Because where I was at, I needed that word. And it came without, at least I didn't even know. What am I saying, friends? You wait on God. Don't let nobody charge you for prayer or prophecy. It does not cost a penny to receive from the Father. He is always willing to speak. And if he is not through an individual, that's because he wants you to get closer. He wants you to, to, to come after him. He wants you to begin to do what Jesus said, ask, seek, and knock. And the door be open, friends. So when God is not uttering, he's not speaking. It's not because he doesn't want to bring you comfort, but he wants to do it. And if you are being lazy, let's face it, many people are lazy when it comes to waiting on the Lord, pondering before the Lord. Friends, this is how we get navigation with the Father. We have to learn to ponder before him, wait on him to get some direction. No one has all the answers. And sometimes when you're not clear, just stay in the last lane that he, that you know he put you in. Just keep working. He's going to make it plain for us. It's not easy sometimes, friends, when you're waiting. It's like, God, I don't know which way to go. So just stay the way you've been going. He won't let you down, friends. Oh, no, he won't let us down. He is faithful. God is faithful. God is faithful. Don't allow anyone to seduce you out of your money to prophesy and pray for you or mentor you. That's the biggest scam going right now. <laughs> I ain't never seen so many life coaches in oh. <laughs> And you go, look, and they tell you, here go the PayPal link so you can become officially their mentee. That's some foolishness, friends. You go, so in other words, in order for them to give you their knowledge, you got to pay up front. You got to go and swipe out and pay up front to get this, <laughs> all this they say they got to give you. Friends, no. The greatest mentor that I know is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has to be, you have to learn his voice. You have to learn the unction. You have to, to, to learn when his thoughts are, are coming up in you, in your heart, in your mind, where it's him, it's not you. And then we have to give him all the glory because we know we're not this smart. I'm not that smart. 
at all. So friends, when we learn to listen, you don't have to keep being thirsty, running around from meeting to meeting, conference to conference, looking for a word because the word is in you. And what I know about him, he's always giving us insight, information, well, revealed thoughts that you know is him because you're not that smart. Come on, you, we ain't that smart. God is giving me understanding of things. I, I, I say, oh man, I never heard of that before. <laughs> or you start using certain language that you, you, you don't even know where this came from. But this is, this is him in you. <laughs> It's like, oh, wow. Then you go look it up and it all makes sense. Where did you get that information? You know you ain't that smart. So friends, we don't need money to receive prophecy or prayer from anyone. And friends, as a reminder, we have a wonderful, dedicated team of intercessors. And I love each one of you this watch, and I love you. I thank God for each one of your faithfulness. And Sister Charity, who she's coordinating, she's kept up with this team from day one. We give God all the glory, and I just want to shout out to all the intercessors. Friends, if you need prayer, these men and women are serious about bringing you before the Father. You don't have to go seeking out nothing that's going to cost you at, at I mean, right there, you can't get the prayer in until you pay PayPal. Come on now, you got to pay to get that. But remember, things cost money. You have to exchange currency for things, but spiritual things freely we receive, freely we give. If you need prayer, head over to Motivating You to Win. The link is in the description box. And thank you, whoever that was that made the comment. I forgot to link it properly, but the link is in the description box. Head over. Our team is very dedicated, friends. And let me tell you, I thank God for each one of them. We are serious about intercession. We are, we are serious about prayer. And it's not going to cost you a penny. God bless you, my friends. Till next time, I love you. Be careful, be wise, and understand Things do cost money, but spiritual treasure, freely we, we receive it, freely we give it. Amen. God bless you, my friend. Till next time.